This will be a tutorial on how to make a UV map for an object in Blender and then import it into Unity. So we, when you open Blender, it has the default cube. You can just go ahead and delete that by pressing delete. And we should add a mesh. Well, we're I think we're going to make a... We'll just make a lamp. And you have to add a mesh, and it should be a cylinder. This will... Um, okay, so the cylinder... Um, the we don't want any caps on the end, so that's fine, unselected, and it'll just create that. Now we're viewing it from the top, and you can't you only see this circle-looking thing. So if you press three, it'll bring you to side view. Now this will be the um, pole of the lamp, so we will zoom out, and to um we want to scale it so that it's a lot taller. So if you press S, it will allow you to scale it for size overall. Now um, the blue line, the blue line is is the um, z axis, so that means we want to only scale it in the z axis, not x or y. So if you press S and if you press Z, it allows you to scale in only the z axis. Now if you want to make a specific amount, let's say 30 or yeah 30, it'll make you just type in the numbers 30 and zero and it scales it to that size, and you just click, and that's pretty much it for making a taller cube um, I mean uh, I mean cylinder now we want to make a base for the lamp so we should add a mesh and make it a cylinder we don't want the caps and ends capped so that's okay and we will press G to move it around if you press G it lets you move it around and we want it to go only along the Z axis so that we can get it aligned with this and we'll make it an exact 30 or I mean negative negative 30 and that will bring it exactly where I want it and just left click and then it'll be good now we are going to zoom in by scrolling up now if you hold down shift it allows you to move up and down the objects so we will scroll up while holding down shift and you'll see that we have our object centered now we will press tab to put in a mesh form so that we can select the vertices and edit them so all you have to do, well, first we don't want any of these selected, so you press A to deselect them. And you press B to allow yourself to make a box selection. So just left click and drag over the vertices you want to select. And the, I just wanted to select all the bottom. So that's, so they're all selected. Now if you press 7, we will have the top view of the whole thing. So, and then we want to scale the vertices so that they're more, they go more outward. So you just have to press S and then move your mouse to whenever you want to however much you want to scale it and just left click and it will well if you press 3 you can tell that there's a big difference so just press 3 again to give a nice side view and that looks pretty good so we are just going to scroll back the other way back towards the center and we will press 7 so that everything will be oriented correctly press tab to take it out of mesh mode and put it back in object mode and you, we want to add a mesh. We will want to add a cylinder as if it were the lampshade. The um, lampshades don't have um, ends like top and bottom to it, so that's fine. So all those settings are okay, and just press OK, and it should be there. Now make it um, change the view to three so that you can see where it is. Now we will want to um, press G to move it around, and press Z to move it only along the Z axis, and then press Enter in thirty to make it exactly at the top and just click and then it should be there now um, we should zoom into it and hold on shift and scroll down to go up which is kind of strange but you get used to it and we have this we are going to want to um, put it in mesh mode so that we can edit it and we will um, deselect it and press box we want to make the bottom we want to make the bottom um, vertices wide for a lampshade, so we will select those by pressing B and then selecting the area. Now we'll want to switch the top view so that we can scale it, and simply just press S and bring it out. And we might want to bring it out pretty large for the top, and just click, and put it back in 3. Now it's kind of short, so we will deselect by pressing A, and we will box, le box select the top ones by pressing B, and then selecting the box of the vertices that you want. Now you can also move it by, we can move it up by pressing 
G, which will allow me to move it in all directions, and I only want to move it in the Z axis, so I just press Z, and it aligns it, and we'll just make it taller, and now if I scroll down, it looks like the, in the bottom, the base of the lamp is a little bit too, um, narrow, it's not going to support a lamp, so we will change it back to object mode by pressing, um, tab, and we will select the bottom one with right click, we'll try to view it, well, we'll just zoom into the center and just, um, scroll down by pressing shift, now we'll put it in top view by pressing 7, and no, wait, put it back in, in side view, so that we can select the um, bottom, so just press tab to put it in mesh mode, and, um, looks like I already have my bottom selected, so I will press 7, and we want to want to scale it to about the size of the lampshade itself. So just press S to scale it, and make it about the size, or a little bit smaller than the lampshade, and just left click. Now, it looks a little bit better. And that's good enough for now. We don't need to go into much more detail about that, and, well, we won't make it perfect. So, we will just... Yeah, deal with that. Press tab to put it back into object. Well, we'll change it later.